In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Impulse with Logic Pro X after running the Huey firmware update. And then I'm going to show you how you can set up your own mappings to control plugins and other parameters inside Logic without using AutoMap. If you haven't done so already, we recommend running the Huey firmware update on your Impulse. You can find links in the description below to a video and an article guiding you through this process. Connect your Impulse to your Mac using the provided USB cable and then open Logic Pro X. Go to Logic Pro X, Control Surfaces and Setup. Click on New and Install. From this menu, scroll down and select Mackey Huey, and then click Add. Under Input and Output Port, select Impulse Huey. Your Impulse is now set up and ready to control Logic Pro X. If you have any software instruments or MIDI tracks that are now playing notes, toggle the record arm until the notes stop. If you don't see Impulse Huey when setting the input port and output port on the Mackie Huey device that we've just added, then close Logic Pro X, disconnect your Impulse and follow the steps on screen. Go to the Spotlight search in the top right of your Mac and type in Audio MIDI Setup. Go to Window, Show MIDI Studio. And in here, locate your Impulse, click on it and press backspace to delete it. You can now close this window and reconnect your Impulse to your Mac via USB and restart Logic. Follow the Huey device setup steps that we outlined earlier in this video. When mixer mode is selected, the fader or faders will be in Huey mode. You can move left and right through tracks by holding shift and pressing the octave up and down buttons just here. You can bank up and down by eight tracks at a time by holding the shift button and pressing the mixer MIDI bank up and down buttons just here. The transport buttons control the equivalent functions inside your door. Moving on to the encoders, when plugin is lit, you'll be able to take control of track pans and sends. You can scroll through the track pans and sends by holding shift on the impulse and pressing page up and down. All of the features that are present on the Impulse 25 are also present on the Impulse 49 and 61 key models, with the addition of eight track volume faders, as well as solo and mute buttons below eight of the faders. The solo mute button can be used to toggle between mute and solo control. I'm now going to show you how you can use your Impulse to control plugins and other parameters inside Logic Pro X. Let's say we want to control some of the functions inside RetroSynth using the encoders on the Impulse. Press on the MIDI button next to the encoders to take them out of Huey mode and put them into MIDI mode. They're now freely assignable. Open the plugin that you want to map and then go to Logic Pro X Control Surfaces, Controller Assignments. Make sure that you have Easy View selected and then select Learn. Now, click on the parameter that you want to map, like Cutoff, for example. Then, 
move the control on the impulse that you want to use to control this function. You can now control this parameter using the control that you moved on the impulse. If you have any questions, you can contact our technical support team using the link in the description below this video.